Welcome to another tutorial I decided to put together using Illustrator CS4. Um, this is a, a digital inking tutorial, kind of building off of what I started with Illustrator CS3. Some of you might have others seen that other video that I put together. Um, I'll try and make this as brief as possible. Um, but going into this here, my settings, um, to get you started, I, as you can see, I've got my drawing here. Uh, this drawing was done by Matt Martin. This is a, one of his characters named Vortex. Um, I really love inking his work because his pencils are very tight. They're very easy to interpret and replicate into a digital inking vector, basically. Um, as you can see, I've got the drawing here in layer one. The layer is locked, so I can't mistakenly draw in that layer. Inks are in layer two, um, and I'll make that layer visible now. You can see I've started his uh, right arm and part of his hand there. Um, off to the left, I have my fill set to black, or set to clear, excuse me, and my stroke is set to an absolute black as well. Uh, just looks better for inking purposes anyway. Up at the top, uh, there's a pull down dialog box for your brush size. If you double, I use the three point round. Uh, if you double click that, it brings up this window here. Um, now I'm using a Inuos 3 Wacom tablet and pen. And when you install that software, it basically takes care of the plugins that are associated with Illustrator and Photoshop and any other programs you might want. Um, I have the pressure set here at the bottom. The other ones are remain at fixed. Variation is at three points. Um, once you have those set, you can click OK. Then I go over here to my paintbrush tool and I double click the paintbrush tool and it brings up this other window here for fidelity, smoothness, and some other selections. I have those both set at two. You may want to change those depending upon what line work you're working on. Sometimes you might, may want to bump this up if you're working on a straighter line that can compensate for handshake and your your overall pen shaking and not making a smooth line. This will help compensate for that, that smoothness setting. Um, click OK. And I can zoom in here and start working. Now, I should also mention that on my tablet itself, um, I have a series of buttons off to the drawing area on the tablet that I've assigned shortcut keys to. Uh, one of them, the button is set to zoom in or zoom out, and one of them is set to the hand tool so I can move the drawing around to wherever I might want. Um, the other one is the undo button similar to what control Z would be on the keyboard. So having said all that, let's get inking. And you're able to see how this is going to shape up. Um, as I mentioned in my other tutorial, this process is very forgiving. Um, it's, it's, it can be a time saver. There's a little bit of a learning curve with it, of course. But it's one of the nice things about digital inking is that you don't have to worry about making a mistake because you can simply go over it or undo it or simply select a stroke that you've made and delete it if you don't like the line. It makes editing and things like that very easy. Now it, it's tough to do this and talk at the same time and be 100% accurate with what I want to do but you get that general idea of what's going on here and you can see how the brush tool itself uh, mimics how you actually draw with the thickness of the lines and and things like that. Uh, now, like I mentioned before, Matt's work is very tight, typically, so it's really easy to interpret um, what he was going for and the overall look in the drawing.
The only other setting that I did not mention in my other tutorial is the Wacom tablet itself has a series of settings that you can play with depending on your drawing style. Uh, everybody holds their pen a little bit differently. Um, everybody's drawing style is just a little bit different. And the settings in that preferences file, which I'll pull up here in a minute, um, definitely helps in trying to get that as close to how you would actually draw on paper um, to getting what you want. As you can see, the harder I press, the wider my ink strokes are, similar to using an ink brush. I'll zoom out here so you can see the progress done. And you can see the drawing is starting to take shape. Uh, those settings that I was talking about are pulled up here and you can actually assign these per program if you would like. Um, I just have these general settings for all of the programs so whether it's Illustrator, Photoshop or whatever I'm using. Uh, my tip field is set almost all the way up to firm. I, I tend to push a little harder probably than most people on the pad itself. Um, the buttons on the pen I have disabled, it just gets to be too confusing if you're drawing and you hit the button with your finger and it's just it's just easier to disable them. And that's pretty much it. Um, once again, this has been using Illustrator CS4. CS3 is pretty much the same way. Uh, I have not tried CS5, but I'm assuming it would probably be the same way. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you picked up a little something from it. Um, if you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know. And thank you very much for watching.